Hello everyone, this is Stan, and today I'm going to show you my version of the very popular, mostly printed CNC machine, originally designed by uh, Alted Ryan at V1 Engineering. You should check it out, lots of videos on YouTube. Before I get into the inside of the cabinet, I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about what's on the outside. What I've done as far as the enclosure, as far as the base that it's sitting on, and of course the, uh, the little controller here for it. The exterior of the cabinet is made out of quarter inch Luan. Very thin, very lightweight, but works perfectly well. At the end of the day, that's all you're trying to do is to keep the dust from getting all over your garage or your shop. You want to keep it inside. I'll pull these panels off momentarily, but uh, before I do that, here is the uh, where the controller is. And the case right here was designed to hold the Mini Rambo. This particular one has the, uh, the fan mount on the front here. I offer uh, an option without this fan, so there's no hole in, in the cover on that one. I uh, have a raised area here on the top of this cover that allows the uh, allows you to hang the the uh, the display from the little controller. These parts were designed originally by V1 Engineering, so you can print these off. The top of it is a power switch that I added, and then on the side is the power plug connector that I added. And in the back there is a power strip that you can pick up at any of the hardware stores. I got that particular one from Home Depot. Uh, works just fine. Had the perfect number of uh, outlets on it. On the corners of the cabinet I've 3D printed some uh, some lanyard mounts that allow me to keep all of the corners tied together, but yet allow an easy way to separate them and take them apart. So to remove these panels, you simply take these pins loose on all the corners and lift the panels right up. They come right out of the uh, pockets down here at the bottom. As far as the base cabinet, nothing fancy here. I added a small drawer just to hold some of the router bits and other accessories that I would need uh, for it casters on the bottom if I needed to roll it around I like mobility if I had it to do over again I think I would have used a little bit larger casters but but those work fine if your floor is pretty smooth it's not a problem uh, I have quick disconnects here for the LEDs that I have inside those are two foot LEDs you can buy those again at any hardware store if I pull the panels off and I want to move them somewhere Else, I can uh, just disconnect these right here and and pull the panel right off. The first panel I'm going to take off will be the front. I take these two front pins loose. These particular pins, all they are is just basically a quarter inch dowel. Uh, you can use a bolt, cut the head off of the bolt. You can use that, or you can just buy some steel uh, quarter-inch round stock. And uh, this is nothing more than a key ring, picture frame wire, and a little bit of heat shrink tubing here to put around it where I wrapped it just to, to keep it clean. Again, very simple. And, and these 3D printed parts, all of these parts for this will be on uh, Thingiverse. And the link will be at the bottom, as I mentioned before. So I'm going to take the front panel off first. Forgive me if the camera jumps around a little bit. I'm trying to I'm trying to do this one-handed. So there we go. Take the panel off. Very easy, lightweight. And then uh, again, if I wanted to take off everything. What I've got up here is basically a little, little bungee cord just to hold the hose up out of the way. 
Then all I have to do is just lift the top right off, just like this, and set it, set that down and out of the way. And again, for the sides, I can come back here in the back, take the other two pins out. Very simple. And then just lift it right out of the pocket. And again, if I wanted to, if I wanted to move this panel out of the way better, I could just take that wire, pop it out right like that, and move it out of the way. Same for this side. Again, sorry about the camera jumping around. Disconnect that. Again, move that over here out of the way. I'm going to leave the back on. I'm not going to take that off. It's not really in my way right now with what I need to do. The top that this CNC is mounted to is three quarter inch MDF. And underneath it is an extruded aluminum frame. One and a half inch by one and a half inch extruded aluminum framework. Let's see if I can see it here. It's kind of hard to see underneath the bottom here. Hopefully you can. I've got one piece going across the middle. But corner, corner plates, corner brackets, bolting it together. And that's a T-bracket in the middle. Tying in the side, the side uh, bars with this center one. And... The whole thing is raised up off of the surface with these angles. And what that does is it allows for a very nice, flat surface to mount the MDF to. This stuff's not really cheap. Um, of course, you don't have to use it. I just chose to use it. I was able to, to buy some of this pretty, uh, pretty reasonably, so that's what I did. And it works very well table was nice and flat uh, after I put it together. So some of the changes are little little tweaks that I did uh, for this particular build. Um, had these limit switch mounts. Other folks have designed these too. There are many variations, different types of those, but right at this time I'm not I'm not using those. For the cable uh, cable carrier here, I have 3D printed some pieces that mount to this motor bracket and that supports one end a piece of an angle it's a one inch by one inch by one sixteenth inch aluminum angle that i've painted satin black and of course i've got a left hand and a right hand same thing on the other side opposite hand and it provides a good uh a good support for the uh for the cable cable carrier here in here on the back of this, I've designed this mount. It's basically a clamp. It's a two-piece part here that uh, it's slotted, so you can basically clamp this to the existing gantry. And you mount the other end of that. That allows allows it to move very well. Works works just fine.